Mission success. I'm talking about NASA's attempt to steer an asteroid by slamming a spacecraft into it. It was a practice run, just in case a giant space rock ever threatens the Earth. That feels like a movie script. It worked successfully, the good news, crashing into the rock at 14,000 miles per hour last night. ABC's Trevor Alt reports. For the first time overnight, NASA achieving the unprecedented, intentionally crashing a spacecraft into an asteroid. We have an impact. A rare sight, scientists celebrating their spacecraft losing signal, a sign of successful contact with the target. Bill Nye even seen taking selfies with mission operations. This historic test known as DART, the spacecraft the size of a refrigerator barreling through space at 14,000 miles an hour. The target, a 500-foot space rock named Dimorphos, located 29 times further away than the moon. We rammed an asteroid that is 500 feet across, 7 million miles away. Now, if that isn't precise targeting, I don't know what is. These images seen seconds before impact, showing clear detail of the rocks on the asteroid. The and the reason for the test? Preparing for a doomsday scenario we've seen play out in countless movies. The possibility of an asteroid on a catastrophic collision course with Earth. This comet is what we call a planet killer. Dimorphos posed no threat to our planet, but scientists wanted to see if it would be possible to divert one off course if they had to. This is the first mission for planetary defense, but this is the technology that could literally save the Earth one day. Okay, Greg was rolling his eyes through a lot of that well, story. Well, the movie, showing the movie <laughs> clips. But they still don't know if it actually made the asteroid change course yet. They still haven't found that out. They crashed it into it, but whether it changed course, we don't know yet. All I hope is if <clears throat> an asteroid is headed towards Earth, I hope meteorologists like yourself can tell us weeks, hopefully months in advance, just in case, you know, we have those bucket list items that we want to do. Yeah, that, that would be good. But we have enough trouble keeping up with what's, what's happening down here. So hopefully it doesn't get to that uh, at, at any point.